Hello, this is another instructional video from Hardy. In this segment, we will walk you through the Hardy Controller 5500. This computer is a very good basic startup computer that can be easily connected to the spray box. Before you start, you'll need a few things. And the first will be a measuring tape. The second will be a the calibration jug and either a nozzle chart or the uh, a disc supplied with the sprayer, some sort of a timing device, and the uh, quick guide and instruction book as backup to this video. This video is divided up into six sections. It will be the connection of the uh, unit, uh, the uh, functions, the menus, the calibration, daily settings and then at the end the special features of this product. I have fitted the Hardy controller up to the supplied tubes and now I'm going to connect the last of these uh, uh, connectors. They've got lugs so you can't make a mistake as to which one goes where. If you're fitting this uh, unit up to a uh, linkage or three-point mounted sprayer there's a special harness uh, that is fitted here and this is to pick up the speed signal from the uh, tractor wheel. The sprayer that I've got today is a trailed unit and all I need to do is connect this connector into here. Let's turn the sprayer on. This spray box switch turns on the computer and this box turns on the hydraulics for this particular sprayer. If we look at the spray box first, um, the top set of switches uh, um, is for the on off, for the um, pressure uh, control up and down and this is color coded to the valve on the sprayer and then there is a, a main on off switch here for the whole uh, boom. If we take the second line of switches, all the black ones, these are for option, optional extras and then the last line is green again which uh, corresponds with uh, the sections on uh, the boom. And you can see that with the main switch I can turn them all off or I can turn them all on and then I can disable the sections with the bottom ones. Let's look at the um, HC5500. Uh, this line of uh, buttons are presets. Uh, this one is the application rate. Here we have the, um, the, s the velocity, the speed. Here we have the tank contents, the area sprayed, and both of these are relevant to this uh, register up here, register number three. And this one here is for the total of um, amount of liquid sprayed out for this register. It could be three or four tank loads that are shown up here. The last um, button here is how many meters or feet I have left uh, before I run out of liquid. The last one is the auto button. I'll come back to that. If we look at the navigation, um, uh, we can start with uh, the uh, enter key. So here I can uh, go into the menus and by using this arrow up I can go to menu 2 which is a setup, 3 calibration, toolbox in number 4 and in number 5 the logbook. If I press again it just goes back to number 1 um, and if I press escape that will bring me back to the um, user menu. The user menu has got four lines, the top one showing the boom status that we looked at before the second line is the uh, big readout from the presets 
uh, which is determined by the preset buttons and then the last two lines um, you can actually uh, define these yourselves and I'll show you how to do that later. Um, a little bit more about these uh, up and down buttons. If I press this one it will now uh, overdose the programmed rate, in this case 110 litres per hectare, by 10% or 20 or 30 and the same I can reduce it uh, with this one and if I want to go back to the uh, program function I can push auto and then that'll bring me back to the program function. Audio. I want to go through the calibration menus and the first thing you notice when you turn the sprayer on is that there is um, a display check, there's a serial number and here you can see the boom size and the number of sections um, for the sprayer. The calibration, I'll start with the boom and I go into the menu and I find calibration and I go into calibration, into this and I want the uh, boom uh, pages. Note also that the number is flashing here so every time uh, I use a menu it's this uh, item that's flashing that I'm changing. So it's something in the boom, let's enter that and it's boom width. Let's check boom width and again enter. I can see it's a 21 meter boom. Uh, if I want to change it to say 24 I would move the flashing item and then by using the up or down I can change my value and, and here I would push enter but actually I want to go back to 21 so back over to the, the value that needs changing bring it back to 21 enter so that's my boom width the second thing I need to check with the boom is the number of sections and if I come to this menu uh, 3.32 enter that and it says I've got seven sections which is correct so I can escape that and then the next item is the number of nozzles per section and I need to enter that and I've actually been out and already had a look at this so my section number one I've got six, nozzle, six nozzles that's correct so I can enter that section number two seven enter correct number three six number four has got four nozzles again if I want to change this I can push up or down and then enter that. Five is also correct. Section number six is seven, and section the last section is also six. And I enter that. So this is correct. I can now escape this menu, and now I'll go back to the speed. The next calibration check is for the speed in menu 3.1 if I enter that uh, there's actually some choices here the speed sensor can be located on the sprayer which is it in it is in this case it can also be on the tractor if it was a lift mounted unit and um, some people uh, take their speed output from a radar but uh, we'll go back to the sprayer and enter this and there is a constant and if I look at this, the constant is 8.3 pulses per unit. And in this case, it's meters. So, um, okay, we can note that. Um, I want to escape that because I want to do a practical session. If I enter that, so I'm in menu 3, 1, 1, 2. And uh, the measured distance um, um, is my start point. I've already marked off uh, a known distance and now I'll start the tractor and drive the distance. My measured distance was 100 meters and it needs alteration so I can now change this to, oops, to match the actual distance which is 100 meters. I now enter that 
and now I have my new more correct constant. Uh, the final calibration is on the um, flow and I find that in menu 3.2, enter. I can look at the constant in the system and at the moment it's 129.1 pulses per unit or pulses per litre. Um, I want to do a, a practical calibration and for that I will use the nozzle method. I enter that. It uh, requires me to open all the sections, which I do, and I need to start the tractor and run the PDO. Now I have a total flow, uh, and this flow is litres per minute per nozzle, and I will set the pressure so I can then go out and measure the nozzles at a known pressure. Okay, now I'll leave and measure. From the practical calibration, I saw that I was actually putting out 1.0 litres per minute. So I need to change the um, value here. I push enter, and then again I just bring the value to the actual value. Which was 1 litre per minute. That will give me the new uh, calibration constant, and now I have finished with that. I can push escape, which will go out of the flow menu. Um, in the calibration menu, there is one other um, menu point that may be handy, and this is uh, the regulation constant. And if I look into this, it's a percentage value that you can increase and decrease. If the regulation valve uh, is slow to uh, operate, then you can increase this value, and I would recommend to start with uh, values of 10% at a time. If it's um, operating all the time when you're spraying, as in overshooting and then undershooting and overshooting and undershooting, uh, then the value is too high and uh, there I would recommend that you reduce this value again in steps of 10% until the uh, yellow regulation valve is stable. I'll go back to the set value of 60%. We're almost ready to go spraying but I just want to personalize the uh, display readout. So I actually want to change um, the, um, the line that says speed. So if I go into the menu and find my setup and I enter this and I've got display readout. If I enter this uh, I've got a number of options or possibilities I can change here. Um, so for example tank contents, I've already got that on the bottom line. Speed I don't want. I want the programmed and the actual. There it is. So that's what I want. I enter that and I want to show it on this line. I don't want to show it here. So I can toggle that and it says show above. Enter. And now I can escape all of this. So now I've got my programmed rate um, and the actual rate and I've still kept my tank contents. If I want to see the speed I can just do that. Audio. OK, let's look at the daily settings. Enter, and it's the very first menu that pops up. Enter again, and here I've got my application rate, and I can enter that again. And let's say I want to change that to uh, 100. Enter, done that. If I go to the next one, 
I can enter my tank contents. Uh, in this case, uh, I have just filled uh, the contents to 1,500 liters. So there I can increase this value. If I have an electronic tank transducer, uh, I don't need to do this because it's um, picked up off the sensor. Enter. And then if I want to change my register, um, I'm in register number three at the moment. I want to change that to register number four, for example. Enter that and um, that's ready to go. Escape, escape, escape. There's my programmed rate, there's my tank contents. Let's go spraying. There's quite a few handy features in this computer. Um, I've just done a little bit of spraying in register 4 and I can see that there are some values in here. And um, I can clear these. So if I push and hold this down, it'll blink for about 5 seconds and then I will have reset um, the area number four. So I've got uh, still the amount of liters, but I've zeroed the uh, hectares sprayed and the volume sprayed out. Another feature is the contrast. On the later versions, if I push the escape and then the arrow up or, oops, or arrow down, it changes the contrast. So this may be a handy feature at night. I'll bring it back to the value of three. The last thing I want to talk about are the registers. Um, you can see all the registers sprayed by going into register 99. So if I enter, go into daily settings, find my register, enter, and then bring this value up to 99. Enter. And now I can see when I've started and stopped this uh, work, I can see the total volume sprayed, the total area, uh, the average speed and the maximum speed, uh, the distance traveled, and the spraying hours, the rate, and the average uh, application rate. I'm sure you'll find the supplied quick guide useful and I hope you found this video useful. For more hardy instructional videos go to our YouTube channel.